In this video, I'm going to talk about a super secret strategy that you can use to land a high paying blockchain job, whether it's your first job, whether it's a better job with higher pay or whatever. I'm going to talk about a strategy uh, that you can apply and tell you a story about somebody who's been watching this channel who recently did this and what you can learn from it and how you can actually you know, use this strategy for yourself to accomplish the same thing. So I'm talking about that as a blockchain developer who's done this myself. I'll help lots of other people do it. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's talk about a secret strategy for landing a high paying blockchain job. Because if you're trying to go out there and find you know, your first job, maybe a better job, you might be doing it the wrong way. Okay, so uh, actually, I actually want to talk about a story of somebody who did this recently has been watching this channel. I talked about this briefly on one of our live streams that we did before, but I want to make this dedicated video to talk about it and outline it in depth about why it works because totally it works. I've done it. I've helped other people do it and I want to help you do the same thing in this video. Let's jump in on this tweet. So uh, this is from Anthony here. So Anthony said, you know, he took my advice from a previous live stream about two weeks ago uh, and he believed that he secured his first blockchain internship. So it's been less than two months since he finished the blockchain bootcamp and he tunes in daily to these live streams that we do. So he says he 2 billion percent helped uh, get to where he is right now. So thank you. And I was thinking like, okay, awesome work. But you know, what advice did I give? Because I can't remember every single live stream that I do. So he pointed to a video where he just showed up and asked a question about, you know, I think it was about getting his first job. Um, and, you know, he, he was in the chat and someone was watching the video and they found his name. They Googled him, uh, found his website where he had been blogging about, um, you know, what he is working on in blockchain, you know, following some of the advice that I've given on this channel about how to do this strategy. And they reached out to him and they developed a relationship and that's how the relationship materialized. And so that's one of the craziest things that I've seen happen on our channel. Again, so there's, there's several things we can draw from this. First of all, it pays to show up to the live streams that we do Monday through Friday on this channel at 9.30 a.m. Central Time. Just subscribe, turn on notifications down below. You'll find out about those whenever we go live. But there's way more to this strategy that Anthony's actually employed here that can help you get your first job, a better job, whatever it is. And I want to detail exactly what that is and show you how to create an actionable plan so that you can do the same thing. So the first thing is when most people are trying to get a job, they basically are going out on the offense and they're applying to a you know a bunch of different places. They're getting on job websites like LinkedIn or Indeed, finding listings and then just submitting their resume and hoping somebody calls them back. And really, first of all, if you're going to do this strategy, especially as a beginner, you want to apply to a bazillion places to increase the likelihood that you're going to find somebody that will hire you. Um, and most people just only apply like one or two places. So that's kind of going on the offense. But really, uh, I'm talking about a different strategy, which Anthony has done here. I've done, helped other people do, which is really having the opportunities come to you. Okay, so how do you do this uh, concretely? How can you do it step by step? Well, basically, it's to create some sort of online presence for yourself. And I'm talking about some creative ways to do this and the actual steps involved. So basically... Um, you, b before you do this strategy, you talk about the prerequisites. You definitely want to have the skills to pay the bills where you're ready to get your first job. And so what are the prerequisites there? So basically, you need to have done some tutorials, all right, to where you have the skills. You know, we're talking about learning by doing on this channel. And then once you've done that, you want to go through unguided development where you're thinking about what you want to create. You're building it yourself so that you solidify those learnings. Then you want to create a portfolio that showcases what you can do. And now you're ready to do this next step. So you're going to take your portfolio, showcase it online, but then you're actually going to create some content about what you've learned. Okay, so this can be a blog post, this can be a YouTube video, whatever it is. And really what you want to do is just explain what you have recently learned. Because when it's recent in your mind, you're going to be in a position to actually help other people have the same problem. And a lot of beginners will say, hey, I don't know enough to provide value to somebody else. That's not really true. If you struggle with something, I uh, guarantee you there's at least one other person out there in the world who struggled with the same thing. And when you create you know, some sort of content that explains it and helps them get past that pain point, they're going to find it immensely valuable. So you can definitely provide value in that way, okay? Um, and so you want to create that, all right? And you, it, ideally, what you want that to do is showcase what you know and help somebody else. So it's it's two purposes. It's providing value. So you're giving value out of the world, um, but then it, it has this added benefit of giving you exposure, okay? And so when you do this, basically, it's going to do one or two things. Uh, either there's it's going to have some overlap with people who might want to hire you, and they're going to see your content, and you can start those conversations that way. Or it's going to have, um, you know, you're going to have other people who are working for those types of people who are going to consume this content and get those benefits. And your name might inevitably come up later um, whenever people have those conversations about, hey, who can we get to solve X, Y, Z problem? Okay, so that's the first step. 
is once you've got your portfolio, you want to create some sort of website or some sort of online presence, maybe it's just a Twitter account where you're putting out value. It could be a YouTube video, it could be blog posts, it could be tweet threads. You just want to explain things, give value and, and show that you know what you're doing um, and have a way for people to contact you through that. Right? That's, that's step one. And I'll also put a caveat here. You don't have to create some massive audience. You don't need a million followers. You don't need a bazillion posts. You just want to have uh, a small enough audience where people are starting to recognize who you are. And then also um, you're putting out content on a somewhat regular cadence and, and make it super simple. Make it as, as minimum as, that you can actually hit. So whether it's once a week, once a month, whatever it is, just stick to it. So step two um, is basically going to where other people who want to hire you are hanging out. Like what are the watering holes and providing value there. So clearly those types of people are in our live streams that we do Monday through Friday on this channel. That's how Anthony got this opportunity. He was asking questions. Somebody, uh, you know, found his name and then just Googled him and found his resource that he created there. So I knew what he was talking about and started the conversation that way. That's how it works. You, you're, you're not out there just spamming your links and saying, hire me, hire me, hire me. Uh, you're out there, you're being visible and then, there's people who are going to like look you up who really need someone like you on their team. They're going to find your stuff and they're going to start those conversations. Okay. That's how it works. Because trust me, when you put content out there online, maybe you get like two comments on something. Well, the ratio of people who have seen it in terms of the actual impressions and might Google your name or try to figure out who you are, um, is gonna be way higher than the people who actually engage on the post directly. Okay. So that's kind of how it works. So you can show up to the live streams. You can go to uh, Discord servers, Telegram groups, um, where people are doing this. Maybe there's a project you specifically want to work on. You can go in their Discord and provide value. Are there other people who are asking questions in their Discord that you can simply, you know, give the answer to so that their uh, community manager or their developers don't have to jump in and answer those questions? If you're able to provide that value, that's going to showcase that you're willing, you have self-initiative, you're a good communicator, all that type of stuff, and you're providing a direct value to them there for free. Or similarly, you know, you can go to their GitHub, and if they have, you know, open issues, you can try to fix those issues on open source repositories. Even something as simple as just like updating a readme file that needs to be updated. Maybe the issues aren't even open. Maybe you just see something out of date in their documentation, and then you just take the initiative and help them fix it. That's going to speak volumes, and, you know, that can really open the door for, for bigger conversations. All right, so that's part two. So basically, part one is you need to have that resource in place that shows what you know. Part two is getting out there and just network and just just interacting online so people can see you and inevitably it's going to create a funnel where, where some people are going to you know start search for who you are and they're going to see what you can do once you've created that resource that has your portfolio has your educational content inside of there okay so um those are two essential parts now let's talk about how it works so basically you know employers are going to be it, it's really hard to hire people trust me i've been on every side of this equation i've been someone who's applied um, you know, to jobs. I've been a freelancer. You know, I hire developers now is pretty much mostly what I do. And so I'll tell you the truth, like nobody wants to hire the wrong person. They don't, they don't want to hire somebody that's going to be a net negative to their team. Okay. And it's a lot easier to do that than you might think. And so how this strategy works is basically um, it pre-qualifies you. So when you create some sort of online presence where they can see that you're capable of what you're doing, uh, you know, you have good communication skills, self-initiative, it allows that employer to just shortcut everything and be way more likely to take a chance on you. And that's why this is so, that's why it's so important. That's why it works. That's why I've helped so many people other do it. That's how I've done it myself. Okay. And the last thing I want to say is once you create this, you know, resource, you can treat this like an asset for your career for the long term. You don't just have to see it as a means to an end for getting that first job. Um, you can actually see it as a means to, you know, as an asset that serves you for the rest of your career and it helps other people. That's the whole point. It's a win-win. And so you might get into a job you really like, and then, you know, you keep maintaining this resource and then some sort of, you know, opportunity comes to you down the road that you weren't even like looking for and didn't expect. And then like an opportunity of your lifetime comes up just because you had this resource out there. And the other thing that's really good about this uh, big advantage is it really gives, it changes what the leverage is in this situation. When, when people are coming to you, uh, you essentially have deal flow. And trust me, even if you do this with a small audience, like you don't have to have a massive audience, um, you're going to get to a point where multiple people are going to reach out to you. And then you can, 
you know, choose the best fit for you, whether it's just the team that you'd like or the better compensation, whatever it is, it's going to change because uh, you're not just going out looking for things. Things are coming to you and you can turn things down and then try to find the best fit. All right. So that's an overview of how to employ this strategy. Okay. On how, you know, super secret strategy on how to get, you know, a high paying blockchain job, whether it's your first one, whether it's just a better job than the one you have now. Trust me, this works and that's how you do it. So if you want to get started on this process, you know, of course, the very first thing you need to do is is learn the skills to pay the bills. And you can do that by going to my YouTube homepage and finding any of my free courses there. Like they're giving me courses, but they're totally free. Uh, you know, just follow one of those step by step, learn to build your first blockchain application. The only thing I ask in return is you subscribe to the channel, smash that like button down below that really helps these videos out so the more people can learn about blockchain. And if you like those videos and you went to the next step uh, and you want to learn how to build, um, you know, a portfolio project so that you can get one of these high paying jobs or hey, maybe you just want to take a massive shortcut, skip the the free tutorials and start now. I should become a blockchain master step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right. You'd have to be an expert to get started today. I thought people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.